Bonjour tout le monde, in other words, uh, good morning world. It's Marco Catania again, uh, representing Charles Sturt University with another study aid for ITI 597. That is a subject that is all about like IT service management according to idle version 3. Hey, uh, in this topic, uh, I'm going to have a chat about like an incident. So what's an incident and how they work in idle space? Okay, so what does dictionary.com say about an incident? Well, again, if we look at like an incident as like a noun, it says an incident is an individual occurrence or event. An incident is a distinct piece of action or an episode as in a story or play. An incident is something that occurs casually in connection with something else. An incident is something appertaining or attaching to something else. An incident is an, occurring, uh, an occurrence of seemingly minor importance. And an incident is an embarrassing occurrence, especially of a social nature. So a whole bunch of definitions here of like, eh, what an incident could be. So what does Eitel has to say about like an incident? Well, Eitel says an incident is an unplanned interruption, an unplanned interruption to an IT service or a reduction in the quality of an IT service. So an unplanned interruption or a reduction in the quality of an IT service. Also realize that failure of a CI, a failure of a configuration item, that has not yet affected the service is also an incident. Here, for example, think of a RAID array, where you have like a whole bunch of disks and one of the disks actually like fails. But the RAID array is still like, well, it's still up and running and still providing the data to the users. So the service is still there. But because one of the disks has like failed or crashed, that should still be picked up as an incident and dealt with as an incident. So, my own definition of an incident, okay? So in other words, the author's less academic definition. If something is broken or likely to break, you're dealing with an incident. Again, if something is broken or likely to break, eh, if you don't take any further action, you're actually dealing with an incident. Hey, simplicity rocks! So think of the example of like the leaking, leaking oil pipe here, okay? And what will happen if you don't properly like, like, well, fix it uh, in time? Well, you may end up with like huge explosions, okay? So think about this one. Huh? If something is broken or likely to break, it should be dealt with as an incident. I'll give you some examples of like IT incidents, okay? Uh, user can't access a specific module in the software. Just doesn't seem to work. Or a work instruction doesn't seem to work at all. And you're trying to follow the work instruction for the backup and it just doesn't start. The network is getting slower and slower and slower and slower and slower. Or there's no connection to the internet. The printer may be jammed. You've got a virus on your computer. The PC doesn't start at all eh, when you walk in in the morning and you turn it on. The backup failed, just didn't run properly. Or you've got a power outage. They're all examples of like IT incidents that should be dealt with eh, from an IT service management point of view. Now, I'm going to give you some brain food, but realize uh, I'm going to explain this a lot further when we actually like look at the individual processes. Okay, but for now, just some statements and like take it in and, and put them somewhere like uh, store them somewhere in a couple of brain cells because they will come back. Incidents are not problems. Incidents never, ever turn into problems, but they can be linked to problems. Many similar incidents can indicate there's a deeper underlying cause uh, that needs to be investigated further. A major incident should be prevented from occurring again, ever again. And many incidents may be automatically generated. So just taking taking these statements, I will elaborate a lot a lot more in like future video sessions. Okay? Chew, musky, practice what you preach. Yeah, hey, it's all about uh, understanding, of course, like incidents. Hey, think of a number of IT and non-IT related incidents of various magnitude. For example, your microwave just stopped working. Your microwave is on fire. 
Guess what? The whole kitchen is on fire. One user can't access the internet anymore. Or, a full, uh, like a business unit can't access the intra internet anymore. Like a full function eh, can't, can't use the internet anymore. Or, even worse, the whole business can't use the internet anymore. Hey, try to add some more examples like IT and non-IT related to, like, uh, to the list here. Have fun. Yeah, what's up, Doc? It's time for a sample question. Hey, which one of the following examples is not considered an incident? Answer A. Delivery of internal email takes forever. Answer B. The internet is no longer accessible. Answer C. Aurora requests a new application to be installed on her workstation. And answer D. Enrico, who works in marketing, receives an error message on his screen. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about the answer and then we'll move on. Okay, the answer is answer C. Because Aurora requests a new application, it means, well, there's nothing wrong with the service right now. She just wants something new. So that is typically seen as like a request for change or maybe even like a standard change. But it shouldn't be dealt with as an incident in like ITIL slash IT service management space. Next topic. In the next topic, we're going to define and explain the concept of impact, urgency and priority. Eh, where priority is actually a function of impact and urgency. Hey, until then, live long and prosper. Nano, nano. And as always, I'll be back.